The exhibit started when um, I was thinking about explaining to the students how religion plays a role in American life, and I wanted them to both incorporate research methods, but then also think very carefully about how the sharing of those research products shape um, reception. And so we thought about having the exhibit that would showcase the variations, variations on a practice. And so six teams um, took in six different religious traditions and then looked across the variations of a, a particular festival unique to that tradition. Um, so, for example, the Hinduism group did Diwali and looked at different um, practices of Diwali across um, Hindus practicing in America. And so the exhibit has a couple of different components, a physical artifact, um, a digital presentation, and then an interactive piece where um, the crowd can begin to interpret um, a, a poem to determine whether the poem is religious or, or secular. When I presented the the assignment to my students, were, and I told them it's, it's experimental, that we've never done something like this before, and that I wanted them to co-create the assignment. So I, I offered to incorporate their suggestions and ideas, and the only parameter that I gave them initially was that it was variations on a practice and that it had to be cool. And so I asked them to determine what that is and um, how, what they wanted to share and how they wanted to share it. And so we looked at several different um, digital tools that would allow for interactive elements within, um, within the exhibit. I invited them to sort of think through the project on their blog. And then um, I gave them specific times throughout the, the beginning of the semester to work on it, to ask questions of, of me about what the exhibit required, and also um, to share their experiences in doing the preliminary research and working together as a team. When I pitched the project to the students, I asked them to be very reflective in their own um, participation and also to be very, think very carefully about what it meant to work in a team. So we have not yet done the team evaluations, that's on Monday, um, but they'll grade themselves as well as each member of their team. And um, so I want them to take away two different types of things. One, how to work within a, a team group because so much of scholarship is team-based now and and so much of scholarship is no longer a, a simple journal article or a monograph it's it's a, a variety of different types of research products shared in a, a multitude of different ways and I wanted them to have that experience on a on a safe scale that you know the audience in the library is going to be generally receptive and um, engage with them and so the, so far, the, the feedback has been that they were very excited to work on something um, that they could share with other people, that I think it gave them an ability to kind of think both beyond just the simple research, but also the stories that they wanted to share with people and how they would share that. Um, so I think it, ultimately it's been highly productive, both in thinking about methodology and what research looks like in the 21st century, but then also um, so, because so many of the students are freshmen and sophomores, that it gives them some like early work in um, learning how to work in a team, learning how to think across a project, and identify what has to be done when. So my advice to anyone thinking about doing an exhibit or engaging their students in something experimental would be to, to reach out to them early and have a few more guidelines. One of the things I learned is that giving them it has to be cool they needed a lot more guidance than that. They needed a little bit more um, clarification from me. So we spent a lot of time co-creating the, the project and the assignment, um, which was amazing. And I actually think if we have time to do that, engaging the students as scholars is incredible and it gives them a lot of agency. Um, and it allows them to bring the myriad of talents that they have into a single discipline. So it becomes, um, much more student-owned and student-driven, but it did take a lot more time than I anticipated. Um, so I, I think next time I'll have a few more guidelines in place um, with some examples. Um, so I was asking them to kind of create it out of thin air, and that was a little difficult. Um, I'm thinking that some of the benefits is is really tapping into the different expertise and the different skill sets within the students um, to make it highly interdisciplinary. One team had someone very strong with technology, another had um, contacts within the Hindu community, so it had a, a much um, stronger ability to kind of get into 
the community of practice. Most of my students are non-religion majors. That they, they come from um, a variety of different fields. Um, some human food nutrition, history, um, some engineers. So they're bringing a variety of different views into the project and in working together and kind of showcasing their different skills, they're able to really build something much more complex and much richer than had it just been a single um, research paper.